For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this triangle with a side length 6 cm, 7 cm, and 9 cm, so what we're going to do is to find the area of the shaded region. Now, thanks to Mr. Shinoda for suggesting this question. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this triangle with a side length of 6 cm, 7 cm, and 9 cm, what we're going to do is to find the area of the shaded region right over here. So now, how are we going to answer this kind of question? So first, Let's have the center of the circle, of course, and then let's connect this center of the circle to our important points. And the important points are the point of tangency of these two sides right over here. So let's connect this, and we know they are perpendicular to one another because a tangent line and a radius are perpendicular to each other at the point of tangency. So we can draw another radius right here that is perpendicular to this tangent segment. And what we're going to do is to connect this center to this point because what we're going to do is to find out the area of the shaded region like this. Now, that's what we need to do to answer this kind of question. All right, so now, to answer this, what we're going to do first is to find the radius of the circle. Now the question is, how do we find the radius of the circle? So what we're going to do is to use some theorems or properties. The first one is we can use the property of the inner circle. So the radius of the circle inside of any triangle must be equal to its area divided by its semi-perimeter. Alright, so this A represents the area of the triangle and this S is the semi-perimeter. Now, how do we find the area of this triangle given its three sides? So, here comes the Heron's formula comes into play. Because Heron's formula says, given all three sides of the triangle, the area must be equal to the square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C and that is the area of the triangle. And this S represents the semi-perimeter. So now, we can replace this A with our Heron's formula containing A, B, and C or the side length of the triangle. So our formula now for the radius must be equal to square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C all over S wherein S is the semi-perimeter. So now let's use this formula. First, let's have the semi-perimeter because all of the side length of this triangle are given. So the semi-perimeter must be equal to 6 plus 7 plus 9 divided by 2. Now 6 plus 7 plus 9, this will give us 22. Divide this by 2, this will give us 11. So our semi-perimeter must be equal to 11. Now we can replace all s, this one, this one, this one, and this one, with 11. Alright. And then this a, this b, this c, this is the side length of this triangle. So we can replace this a, b, c with 6, 7, and 9. So again, in any order, this a, b, and c are the side length. So we can replace this with 6, 7, and 9 in any order that we want. Alright. Now, let's simplify. 11 minus 6, this will give us 5. 11 minus 7, this will give us 4. 11 minus 9, this will give us 2. Now, the only perfect square in this number must be equal to 4, and the square root of 4 must be equal to 2. So we can move these two outside our radical sign. Now let's multiply 11 times 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, multiply by 11, we have 110. So the radius of this circle must be equal to 2 multiplied by square root of 110 over 11 centimeters. Alright, 
Next, what we're going to do here is to find out what is the area of this triangle. So we need the measure of this segment. Now, to answer that question, we will use this concept using the tangent theorem. So it says that if two tangents are drawn from an external point of a circle, then they are equal lengths. So in this figure, we can say that AC must be equal to BC. So if we let this segment as A, the other segment must be also equal to A. If this is B, the other segment is B. If this is C, the other segment must be equal to C. Now from here, we can now create three equations. So the first one is A plus B. This adds up to 7 centimeters. The next equation is B plus C. If we add this, we get 6 centimeters. And the third, if we add A and C, we get a total of 9 centimeters. Now, using these three equations, we can now solve for the value of A, B, and C. So, what we're going to do is to add these three equations. If we do that, we get something like 2A, 2B, and 2C. So, we have 2 multiplied by A plus B plus C equals 7 plus 6 plus 9 or simply equal to 22. Now, divide both sides by 2. This will give us the value of A plus B plus C equals 11. Now, from here, we know that A plus B equals 7. So, A plus B equals 7. So, using our first equation and the resulting equation, we can say that 7 plus C equals 11. Now, using the second equation, we know B plus C equals 6. So, B plus C is 6. So, we have A plus 6 equals 11. Now, using the third a plus C equals 9, so A plus B plus C, so we get B plus 9 equals 11. So from here, we can also solve for the values of A, B, and C. So using the first equation, if we subtract 7 on both sides, we get that the value of C must be equal to 4. Now on the second, if we subtract 6 on both sides, we get that the value of A must be equal to 5. And on the third, if we subtract 9 on both sides, we get that the value of B must be equal to 2. So, the value of A must be equal to 5. The value of B must be equal to 2. And the value of C must be equal to 4. So, let's check. 5 plus 4 equals 9. That is good. 4 plus 2 equals 6. That is good. 2 plus 5 equals 7, that is also good. But what we need here is this value, 5. Alright. Now, we can now find the area of this triangle right here because we have now the base of 5 and the height 2 times square root of 110 over 11. But this is the area of the triangle, so we need to subtract the area of this sector. And to find the area of this sector, what we need to do here is to find the angle right over here. Now to find this, we will use the tangent function. So if we use tangent to this angle, to this pipe opposite, and this adjacent side, we get that tangent of theta must be equal to 5, which is the opposite side, over 2 times square root of 110 over 11, which is the adjacent side. Now let's simplify this. If we simplify this, we get 55 over 2 multiplied by square root of 110. Next, let's rationalize. This simplifies to square root of 110 all over 4. That is the value of tangent theta. So to find this angle, let's have arctan on both sides. So theta must be equal to arctan of square root of 110 over 4 or approximately equal to 69.12 degrees. Now, using those informations, we can now answer this question. So to do that, let's call this region as A. So this is also A by symmetry, and this region as B. So to solve for the value of this A, we need to find the area of this triangle 
minus the area of the sector which is written as B. So, A must be equal to 1 half multiplied by 5 times 2 times square root of 110 over 11. This is the area of the triangle. We have the base and the height, 1 half times base times height. Next, minus the area of this sector, arctan of square root of 110 over 4 all over 360 degrees, multiply by pi, multiply by r squared, which is 2 times square root of 110 over 11. This is just the value of A, but we want 2A because by symmetry, this is also A. So the value or the area of the shaded region must be equal to 2A or simply equivalent to 2 multiplied by 1 half times 5 times 2 times square root of 110 over 11 minus arctan of square root of 110 over 4 all over 360 degrees times pi times 2 times square root of 110 over 11 raised to the power of 2. This is the exact value of this shaded region. Now, if you want the approximation, this is approximately equal to 5.15 square centimeters. Now, this is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.